How do you like my setup? You like it? Yeah. Hey, it's Pete Koch. We're breaking it down with Andrea Logan. Coming your right. Uh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Pete Koch, here with Andrea Logan. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Pete. Andrea's a, a long-time trainer. She's got her master's in exercise science, extremely knowledgeable. Uh, some of the resume is a competitive CrossFit athlete, both in open category and uh, master's category. Uh, was a division one athlete in her college days. And now out here in Los Angeles and working with a lot of interesting People also will get into some of the your background and sort of your passion, what you do with your your free time and the charities you're concerned with. But um, anyway, how, how you doing? How you I'm doing? good. I'm good. I'm good. Good. So uh, most recently, let's talk about this, right? So most recently, uh, I think you're always trying to satisfy your um, athletic competition urges, and you competed on Stone Cold Steve Austin's Stone Crush challenge recently and uh, that's already aired so we can discuss that this was there's a lag timer so that was filmed this summer this, uh, this summer yes uh june or july in july and in a very very hot very hot day. week and uh it's about 100 degrees right yes yes and uh folks if you haven't seen that show it is absolutely wild i mean they it's physical competition Women against women, men against men, super strong, fit people. So, well, how was your experience? Um, challenging. I was actually the oldest ever on the show. I was 26 years older than everyone, and they let me know that constantly. However, the girls were absolutely wonderful. Um, it's such a small world. Um, it's actually athletes that you see in CrossFit, and I've seen in CrossFit. Actually, one back a day emailed me exactly three years ago um, telling me my story about beating and bulimic and overcoming it was inspirational. I had no clue that was her and on the show. Where is she from? Oh, she travels everywhere. I don't know where her hometown is. Uh, right now, she's living in New York. Uh, she complete, competes on the grid program. What is the grid? Is that a CrossFit? athletes that come in and compete with teams and she's on Andrea Yeager's team right now. They just all formed one in New York. Okay. So we've got, let me break that down, right? So you've got uh, some of the people that Andrea needed to compete against in, this, in the, in the, the uh, Broken Skull Challenge. It was included a woman back a day who's in her 20s, who is a world-class CrossFit athlete slash Olympic lifter slash power lifter. So the, the competition is fierce, but you have to see these women. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a remarkable show. It, it's on the uh, CMT, right? Country Music sure. Channel. So, um, And actually, the athlete I competed against, Cassandra, just got first place in the team at Wadapalooza in Miami, which is a CrossFit competition. So. Major CrossFit competition. <laughs> so I was up against some beast, as we can say. But to take, what's the takeaway <laughs> message, right? So you, you got the opportunity to compete against, you know, much younger, incredible athletes, but did you, what, what, how did it go with this? Steve Austin himself, what was that like? Oh, Steve's absolutely wonderful, very nice, friendly. Um, he actually takes time with the um, athletes in the beginning. And his show is inspirational, funny, and he is actually funny. So it was an experience in itself. Actually, I'm the same age as him, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can really say much when I came up on board, except I had age. So, but he's a wonderful guy. If you ever have an opportunity to apply, I would do so to see how far you get. But it's a, it's a fun show, and I would watch it. And Steve is actually one of the hands-down hard-working man and who loves our military so so i'll put information regarding that in the show notes it's a fun show it's on cmt sunday, sunday, sunday at eight o'clock yeah sunday evenings aside from that you've got the you're in the uh the personal training world and you have been for some time and uh 
you have a special passion within training it because I, I know you we know each other very well but it it, it, it it registers with you I know with your eating disorder so yes. if you could just take a, a minute to just kind of give the background on your struggle with an eating disorder and, and how your emphasis on strength is pro I think evolved from that um, for over 13 years I battled an eating disorder and when I say battle a lot of people say I was bulimic or I was anorexic but mine was to the I guess the depth of it was really bad over 6,000 calories probably a day or more um, from McDonald's to Burger King to Taco Bell within a 10 minute period to dozens and dozens of donuts Krispy Kreme they had to be Krispy Kreme um, to french fries, whole pizzas, boxes of Oreo cookies. And I was an athlete in college doing this and I would throw up in the back of the bus in a bag or climbing up a dumpster after eating at a uh, Golden Corral, which is a all-you-can-eat buffet. So it went on for years and horribly, even through my pregnancy. And I got lucky enough to seek help and I had a support system. And through that journey, I've learned that you've got to love yourself, you've got to accept who you are. And one thing about media today is putting a, um, a norm, what needs to be normal. What is normal? Well, I just want to jump in and make sure that's really clear that you were bulimic. Yes. So you all this food that you were eating, you weren't gaining any no, weight. No, I was actually throwing every bit of it out. My parents actually, at times, I think, thought I was a crack addict. I was going through money because I was buying food. I locked myself in an apartment for a whole weekend, eat nothing but food, sheet cakes, birthday cakes, you name it. There's some things you don't eat, but anyway, I spent a lot of money on food, threw up, ate, threw up, ate, threw up, but also was an athlete, then aerobic instructor. We taught three to four classes a day. So my, I'm surprised I'm still here. And, uh, but my passion is now helping people with any kind of addiction, especially eating, if it's overeating, if it's undereating, if it's bulimia. Uh, I, I have a passion, so I'm more than a personal trainer. I'm actually almost like a confidant to people and they open up with me immediately. And sometimes I can tell if you're struggling in some areas and some you don't. But my passion is to help people because 24 million battle it in this world today. And a lot of it has to do with social media and the magazine covers because unfortunately our youth thinks that's the normal look. So we've got to teach ourselves to love ourselves, be comfortable in our skin. However, go where you want to go. And skinny is not the word that people like to hear. Unfortunately, some people are naturally skinny, but don't starve yourselves because you're killing your insides as well. So it's a passion of mine, and I've been fortunate enough to work with a doctor that is very passionate in the health and fitness uh, industry and a world-renowned doctor that has really put a lot of research in eating disorders and obesity. So I'm fortunate enough to really work on the side, side by side with him at times. I think it's important to identify and exactly what an eating disorder is because when people think of it typically they think of someone that's starving themselves, anorexia, or someone that's throwing up their food, bulimia, and doing that not just once or twice. Some, we, we, we see these articles where to some Hollywood actress says, oh yeah, I used to be bulimic, but I overcame that, and somebody would say, well, exactly how long was that, that period of time and they, they would say yeah for like uh, two weeks in the mid 90s I threw up my lunch every day that's not a bulimic uh, you know we're talking about people like Andrea that throw up every meal every day and keep it a secret from from most people so there's there's uh, not only the physical act and all the damage that does to your teeth and your throat and et cetera, but also the, the sort of emotional damage that goes along with it. I just get on a small rant about this because I've, I've learned so much of this through Andrea, but also included in the definition of eating disorder. Importantly, and this is the majority of folks that you work with, is overeating. Yes. So if you are pathologically overeating, 
and you're not throwing that food up. I'm just talking about overeating. You're going to become obese unless you can somehow figure out a way to exercise seven or 10 hours a day. And there's a handful of people that do that, but it's, it's extremely rare, but that would be exercise anorexia, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, but, yeah. but talk about the overeating and the issue there. I think with overeating, a lot of people, it's called emotional eating. See, mine with throwing up, it was like I was releasing my frustrations, my anger, my anxiety. Well, emotional eaters are eating their frustrations, their anger, their sadness, whatever they're going through. And they, so a lot of people don't realize it or they will not say that that's where they are in life and that's what they're doing. And it's becoming a big issue. And with overeating, not only are you damaging your body, but you, you're looking into diabetes. You're looking into um, heart issues. You're looking Various at, metabolic diseases, yeah. right? There's all yeah. kinds of stuff that goes with it. We want to reverse that for the folks that have it going yes. and stop it for the folks that are overweight yes. and overeating that haven't gotten sick yet. Sometimes that's the case. And I know this is a subject you're you're really passionate about how do folks get a hold of you and this is really important for everybody out there and well I'm interested to hear some comments on this conversation if this resonates with you and these eating disorders are not exclusively the domain of women uh, not even you know anorexia and bulimia tend to be but not exclusively but if this resonates with you or someone that you know we'd love to to hear from you or leave a comment and because uh, it's, it's, we're both passionate about this topic. And how do folks get a hold of you, Andrea, should they, they want to reach out to you to discuss this? You can get a hold of me through andrealeefitness.com. Spell that. A-N-D-R-E-A-L-E-I-G-H fitness.com. Or you can um, actually, Facebook is Andrea Logan. Anytime. I do answer emails quite a bit. There are people that reach out and they'll just tell me their story and see where they need to be. And I try to do my best to answer each and every one, but I do like to hear from people struggling because I've been there. I've been to the depths of if I had three hours, I could go into my whole story. However, I have been into the darkest, darkest, darkest places that a person can be. This is true. It's been written about. She's got an article published in WAD Talk Magazine. WAD is, is CrossFit speak for workout of the day, but WAD, WAD Talk Magazine, you can Google that. I believe you'll find that. Also, folks can reach you on Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And- um, Twitter is a Andrea Logan, and then on Instagram, it's Andrea Fitness. So you can reach me either way on those. And and one let's and let's just wrap this up this way and just give them the short version because it's because it's a it's a lot of story. But ultimately, how did you overcome? What was required for you to overcome your? your I had to go. I had to go away. I had to put myself away and get medical medical treatment. And it does not fix you immediately. You you really have to want it yourself, and then. You find the answers through your counselors and your medical doctors. And it is a long process. I'm not going to say it's an easy process, but it can be done. So if you really want to reach out, I'm here. And it's a, it's something I'm very passionate about. And I don't want anyone to have to go through what I went through. So there it is, Andrea Logan breaking it down for us on the subjects of physical fitness, competing with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, CrossFit, and eating disorder. That's a very serious subject, but we uh, appreciate any comments you might have. Go ahead and find her on your social media. Reach out to her. She loves to connect with people, as do I. So hit me up with a comment or a like, and uh, we'll see you next time breaking it down. This is Pete Koch. See you again.